Hey guys, what is up? Dave here coming back to you with another fun video today. Today's video is about ultimate racing. Before you click off the video, it actually had a different name. It was fueled racing. But before you click off the video, it was racing rivals. This video is about three different games that turned into one game. There were not three different games at all. They were actually just one game, but had three different names. Ultimate racing seemed to be the internal name or like early alpha name for racing rivals. When it went to a regional based beta, uh, which is when I started playing racing rivals before it was fully, fully global, it was fueled racing. When it went global, it was racing rivals. So if you don't pay much attention to the leak world, which a lot of people don't, uh, a couple people uh, went on archive.org, found some old links to some Apple test flight servers and threw them in archive.org and found 146,000 IPA files. What's an IPA file? An IPA file is like an APK file. An APK file is the Android equivalent to install an app without the Play Store. IPA is the installer file without the Apple App Store. <clears throat> so these are all beta applications is what was found. And I found Cartown. I found Racing Rivals. I've known about these links for a long time, but I didn't want to make things public until I archived everything myself off of Archive's website. I never finished. I only got about 14,700 IPA files downloaded because somebody else found them, made a Twitter account about it, started posting about it every single day, like multiple times a day. Apple got wind of it and took down the downloads. So. Without further ado, let's go into Racing Rivals and talk about the game a bit. I kind of pre-looked at this stuff already, just so this isn't a 35-minute video of me looking at picture files. So I'm going to kind of go through things kind of quickly, and we're going to have some fun. Uh, I got a couple Unity hacking tools so we can actually open up some of the asset files and go from there. So without further ado, let's look at Racing Rivals. So as you can see, we start off with some icons. These are the actual wheels that correspond to not only stock vehicles, but the very few uh, aftermarket wheels that they had in the game at the time of the alpha test when this took place. So we have the AI list, which this is the names of the AIs, which corresponds with their image names. There's some funny images in here, like this guy, like the knockoff He-Man. I, <laughs> I don't know what that is. But before I get any further, if we go under data, if you pay attention to my Racing Rivals videos or my Unity hacking videos, you'll know that Unity uh, created games have a data asset folder. And usually stuff like this is in there. So if we drag this over, we can see some audio files. Like these are the assets for the game that were always, you know, base assets like sounds, font files, mono behaviors, uh, nothing major is in here, but there's enough that it's like, oh, okay, so stuff to make the game at least start. Got it. So without further ado, though, I want to play you a couple of my favorite audio clips. First one being the nitrous trigger. I really wonder if these guys played Galaga and then were just like, ooh, <laughs> that's what the nitrous activation needs to sound like. Hold on, you'll see. Now, you might have to turn up your headphones. I'll play it a couple more times in case you need to turn up your audio. Yeah, somebody's shooting off a laser gun every time they activate their nitrous. Uh, <laughs> another one of my other favorite things is BOV rattle. This is freaking sick. I'm going to extract this out of here and make it a custom part in 1320 Challenge for sure. So you can customize your BOV sound. I freaking love it. Uh, I'm not going to do <laughs> turbo whoosh and all that because last time I did, I almost blew my ears off. It's a terrible sound. But other than that, there's not much else in here that we need to really look at. So I'm going to point out a couple things as we scroll through here. It's just kind of a bunch of the assets, so you can kind of just pause if you want. These car IDs, they're nothing 
crazy special. It's nothing that wasn't already released. Car ID 1, for example, is the Honda Civic. This is the Camaro. I think this is the Corvette or something like that. One of these is a Mustang. One of these is a McLaren. It's There are cars that we had in the game, and there's nothing here that I see that is like, uh, ooh, this was supposed to be in the game, and we never got it. None of this is that kind of stuff. Also, these NIB files, if you are an iOS modder that goes beyond hacking just the code and you know how to extract these, I can only find tools that work for Mac OS for this. Let me know if you can figure out a way to extract these. I can't. So, without further ado, though, we have the demo music for the game. And I want to give it a playthrough for you. It sounds pretty much exactly what you're expecting. Um, it's the song we all knew and loved. So, here we go. Hold on. It's the exact song you think it is. <laughs> but, I mean, what a throwback to hear that, you know? Did anybody else just sit on menu screens and just listen to the music and vibe? Like, seriously. It was such a good background music compared to any other game. But there's one other thing I want to point out as far as one of the assets that we didn't end up getting as a feature in Racing Rivals, but it is here. What I have highlighted is called EngineSwap.png. Engine swaps were supposed to be a part of Racing Rivals and they never came. Oh, CIE, you missed out. Well, anyway, here's the gas pedal. Here's the icons. Cool stuff, cool stuff. These were what the icons looked like in the early beta. There was a Scion FRS icon later on, though, wasn't there? I don't rem I, I'm pretty sure there was, so... This wasn't forgotten, <laughs> it just wasn't ever used publicly. But as you can see, as we scroll down, it's more and more assets, nothing crazy or anything like that. Like there's the tournament badge and stuff like that. These are cool. I would like to maybe reuse or borrow some of these. <laughs> but uh, oh, it's the all wheel drive, the different drivetrains. that's sick. Cool, cool. Um, Anyway. So there are screenshots of the game in here. There's some funny ones, but first off, I want to stop here at... Oh, I, I, I skipped the... Did I skip the logo image? I did skip the Fueled Racing logo image. <clears throat> so, there you go. I was right. It was called Fueled Racing. Don't at me. Anyway. <laughs> but we get further down. You see the Fueled Racing logo down here. Uh, it looks very much like the Racing Rivals logo. All they did was change the words. <laughs> but also, there is the Ultimate Racing logo. I'm glad they got away from this name because it sounds very basic. It's not a clever game name that sticks out. You can search Ultimate Racing on, you know, like the Google Play Store or Itch.io and get 100 results. So I'm glad they got away from that. But here's like little 2D car models that were for the buttons at the bottom of the screen. Um, I want to find... Shoot, where is it? So here's the RPM got, uh, dials. That's sweet. Here we go. If Racing Rivals looked like this, would you have played it? Leave your answers in the comments down before, below. I think I have to put my mindset back in the times of the iPhone 5, the iPhone 4S iPad 2, iPad Mini 2, I think. Um, I might have one of them. Ooh. I might have to pull that out and figure out if uh, it works. Because it would be way easier to do a video on this uh, of it actually installed. A um, little foreshadowing. With a bigger screen than an iPhone 5. <laughs> but anyway, this is what the game was supposed to look like, at least while it was in alpha stages. And honestly... It gives me a major, like, 
almost PlayStation game vibe, which I'm totally cool with. If this is what the game had came out and looked like, I would have still played it for sure. Oh, that's cool. So if you hit the nitrous button, it drains the button and makes it dark. I like that. Why are there two N2O buttons? That's what I want to know. But yeah, so that's what racing looked like. There was another game. Here's the menu. There was another game that looked like this on iOS, and I cannot remember what it was called. I think I think it was Drag Racing World. I cannot find the IPA for it, but it is installed on my iPhone 5C that is out in my garage in a box it's also on my iphone 4 and i think it was on my iphone 6 because i backed it up since all my phones were always jailbroken i backed them up and put them back on those but this is what the menu kind of looked like very early on and if you were ever part of meme culture you know exactly what you're looking at <laughs> but yeah this is uh it's really cool to see what it was looking like during development phases and I wish they would show us more of that, uh, of, you know, auto legends, but I also understand that it might not be there yet. I really like looking at these images for the buttons, for the parts, because they're so well done. Like, this is such a clean, basic turbo for a turbo button. I really like it. Here's the RPM dial gauge. I really like this as well. But yeah, there's a lot of cool little things in here. So, tutorial race view, uh, a dyno, basic dyno graph, pretty cool picture of it. So, the other thing I need help with is MOD audio files. I want to decrypt these or convert them to MP3 or something like that so they can kind of actually be used. But as of this moment in time, I don't think they can be used. Now, we've gone through all the assets. We're about 12 minutes in here. You're probably wondering, hey, is it possible to play this? If you're on anything newer than, uh, if you're on any device that's iOS 11 or newer, no. If you pulled out your iPhone 12 today and tried to install this IPA, it would not open. You need something that's on iOS 10.3.4 or older, and it has to support 32-bit apps. Apple remove 32-bit app. Uh, support as of iOS 11. So anything that's iOS 11.0 or newer will never play this game, even if we made a private server for it. But, oh, that's not what I wanted, but that's okay. But just like my video on Racing Rivals for potentially remaking the server for it, it is possible to modify this file to connect to a different server in a very similar way. I do have an iPhone 5. It is fully functional. I got it at work. These API calls are very, very similar to um, what I used for, or when I backed up the Racing Rivals server, when I did the whole archiving of the server. I can modify this file. I can make this point to any URL I want to try to get it to get a positive callback. But that does not mean I can make it, you know, emulate a server call or anything like that. This is not like a Unity 3D game for PC or Android where there's DLL files and the code is just laid out and we can do exactly whatever we want. There's app injection that would have to happen here or, um, you know, some real trickery from a server that is above my knowledge pay grade. <laughs> Am I going to attempt to at least get past the login screen? Yes. Am I promising anything on a part two to this video? If I can't do that, probably not. I am going to see if these links are archived. I really doubt it. But at least for now, we do have this file. And I do also have the files for Cartown that were released in that same file leak. But again, there's probably not much we can do with it. So, you know, pay attention. We'll find out. But as of right now, this is basically where this video ends and the story of Racing Rivals ends. A tiny URL CIE fueled. Cool. So, I'll talk to you guys later. If there's a part two to this, obviously you'll know about it and you'll see it. 
But as of right now, I don't know if there will be. I hope to talk to you guys in the future with a part two for this game. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and seeing some history that ended up being found for racing rivals. And I'll talk to you later. Peace out.